unless you're living under a rock, you know that this whole Twitter thing with Elon, he was taking him over at 5420 a share. 420 seems funny, right? Whatever. But then he started accusing them of lying on their registration statement where they're saying only 5% or less or less than 5% of their accounts are spam or bots. And that's where the contention is. He keeps saying that that's the reason he doesn't want to do this. And who knows, it could be just him not wanting to do a deal and looking for a reason to get out. When you buy a house, you hire an inspector. And if you don't want to buy the house, you kind of tell the inspector, find something wrong, so I come back out. That could be what he's doing, but I don't know how strong a case it is. So he pulled out of the deal. Now, there's a $1 billion breakup fee, but he's saying, I don't owe it because you guys lied about the spam bots. So they're saying it's under 5%. He's saying it's a lot more than that. So that's where it's going to come out. They sued him because they're saying, we're either going to make you do the deal at the price agreed on, or you're going to have to pay that billion dollar breakup fee. They obviously want the deal to go through so they can sell their shot stock for $54.20 and get out of there and make money. But on his end, he doesn't want to buy a product that is like 30 or 40% bots, which is what I think he thinks the number is. He has been asking for proof that it was under 5% bots and the board wasn't coming back or they didn't have a way to prove it. So now going to court, it may actually come out now that whether they may have to do some sort of accounting or audit to see how many other accounts are bots or spam or whatever. So all that fighting, it may come out. In a situation, the court could make him pay the billion or he could actually force Tesla to, Tesla, Elon, same thing, right? Elon to buy the company for that money. Now, that's going to affect Tesla, too, because if he doesn't have the financing, he might have to sell his shares, which may go down. So this is going to be a fun time fun, like the old proverb, may you live in interesting times. That's what this is. It's not a compliment. It's a curse. So as a wrap up, Elon goes to buy Twitter. He comes because there's too many spam bots. He backs out of it. Twitter sues him. It's going to court now. So we're going to find out what happens. It could be years in this thing. Courts take years, years to do this stuff. But they could settle out of court. There's a lot of things that could happen. And here's one thing I'm thinking. If they say they had less than 5% and all of a sudden they find out through auditing it's 25 or 30%, could Twitter get in trouble for lying on a registration statement if they knew this? I guess if it's unintentional, no. But being that far off could be a problem and they could have the SEC coming after them for that. But probably won't.